markets translate the decisions of millions of people into a price for a stock or bond. Like a spooked crowd in a public place, investors tend at times to run in the same direction, let's all play the lottery or let's escape the burning movie theater. Many experts had been forecasting a decline for months after a prolonged upswing resulted in a series of record highs. Several factors are likely to have been involved. The Bureau of Labor Statistics January Jobs Report, released on Friday, was almost certainly one of them. Normally, if we spin around in an office chair and suddenly stop, we feel like we're still moving. That's because fluid in the inner ear responsible for detecting movement continues to whirl around due to inertia, making your brain think it's still in motion. In this activity you will explore the reaction that creates these tasty, toasty treats and experiment with speeding up and slowing down the process.
if one tilts one's head backward far enough, the body's reflexes will kick in. Neurons that are responsible for firing when the brain senses the body is off balance will set off a cascade of signals from the inner ear to the brain stem, then to the spinal cord and finally to the muscles that tell the body to lurch forward for the save. In sports like figure skating, the body is frequently in such unlikely positions. So how do skaters convince their brains that it's totally okay the body is halfway to a face plant? The disease model remains dominant in the U.S. because of its stakeholders. First, the rehab industry, worth an estimated $35 billion per year, uses the disease nomenclature in a vast majority of its ads and slogans. Despite consistently low success rates, that's not likely to stop because it pulls in the cash. Second, as long as addiction is labeled a disease, medical insurance providers can be required to pay for it. My own role in the controversy has been to keep up a spate of arguments against the disease model of addiction, in books, the press and online, mostly on scientific grounds. As a neuroscientist, I'm able to show why brain change, either in general or specifically in the stratum, the motivational core, does not equal pathology or disease.
Not that I have anything against neuroscience, which was the main focus of my research career for years. But researchers who aren't into neuroscience have been ignored, and that's not a good thing. If we stop confusing addiction with pathology, then we can focus much more clearly on the specific needs of specific individuals. That seems a huge advantage over dumping everyone in a basket that fits almost no one. Roughly 1 million sexually transmitted infections are exchanged each death. If untreated, they can lead to cervical cancer, pelvic inflammatory disease and infertility. However, people are often reluctant to ask their doctors to test for such infections, so Eve Medical in Toronto developed a kit for women to screen themselves.
Hopefully, this will treat and prevent acne and other skin diseases and reduce antibiotic use. Naked Biome is entering clinical trials to see if its approach is safe and effective. Research on motivation has suggested that a strong sense of autonomy is the key to developing the healthy self-motivation that allows children and teens to pursue their goals with passion and to enjoy their achievements. But what we see in many of the kids we test or tutor is motivational patterns that are at the extremes of 1. An obsessive drive to succeed and 2. Seeing little point in working hard. Athletes will be able to activate their self-warming jackets by pushing a button on a slim lithium-ion battery pack. Once switched on, electrons will surge through the silver ring till they hit a resistive carbon pad, which will generate heat.
for the designers and engineers who spend years crafting Team USA's uniforms to offer both style and extraordinary aerodynamics. The need to keep athletes warm in these extreme temperatures posed an added dimension of difficulty. Current policy responses do not address the fundamental question of why so many mass shootings take place in schools. To answer this question, we need to get to the heart of how students experience school and the meaning that schools have in American life. While some of these measures seem sensible, overall there is little empirical evidence that such security measures decrease the likelihood of school shootings. The Royal Institution is an organization that has been around for 209 years. Many of the people that have worked here have been scientists themselves, including Michael Faraday. He made the discoveries that may be generating a using electricity much easier, making it possible for us all to switch on lights, cook for dinner, play games consoles much more.
New research shows that during the global financial crisis, workers who stayed in the jobs did not reduce their working hours. Despite claims that cuts in hours have to prevent job losses, the study found that life of people who remain same employers stayed relatively unchanged. A thesis is a claim that you can argue for or against. It should be something that you can present persuasively and clearly. The scope of your paper, so keep in mind that page count. If possible, your thesis should be somewhat original. Today, telecommunication is widespread and devices that assist the progress are common in many parts of the world. There is also a vast array of networks that connect these devices, including computer, telephone and cable networks. Computer communication across the Internet, such as email and instant messaging, is just one of many examples of telecommunication.
there is a tendency, especially in the popular press to concentrate on the negative effects of immigration. In that context, this lecture listing the benefits it brings to more developed nations are much more welcome. Also, it is delivered in a lively and amusing style. The fact is that those different types of services affect many different dimensions of well-being of people. And define the human well-being is also extremely challenging. However, we identified that there are certain items provide basic material for life, whether it be food, shelter or happiness. Nature offers no greater splendor than the starry sky on a clear, dark night. Silent and jeweled with the constellations of ancient myth and legend, the night sky has inspired wonder throughout the ages a wonder that leads our imaginations far from the confines of Earth and the pace of the present day, and out into the distant reaches of space and cosmic time itself.
a pharmacist's duty is not simply preparing the drugs which are prescribed by a general practitioner or other health professional. It is to deliver optimal pharmaceutical care, by assessing the suitability of the medication for a particular patient, taking into account their medical history, as well as possible side effects and interactions with other drugs that are being used.